Manhattan is one of the best known places in the world. It appears in thousands of films and TV shows, and there are famous locations all over the city. There's Central Park, a huge park with a zoo in the middle of Manhattan. There's the Guggenheim Museum, a world famous modern art museum. And there's Times Square, the center of Manhattan's theatre district. Many of New York's incredible landmarks are in Manhattan, including the Empire State Building. The Empire State is in Midtown Manhattan, an area full of luxury hotels and expensive shopping centers. It's on the corner of 5th Avenue and 34th Street. It's over 85 years old and it's an excellent example of the Art Deco style of architecture popular during the 1930s. It takes its name from the nickname for the state of New York, the Empire State. And today, it is the best-known skyscraper in the city. But it isn't the biggest building. There are several taller structures in New York City. The Empire State is 381 meters high, 443 meters with the radio tower at the top. So it's 100 meters shorter than the tallest building in New York the One World Trade Center. However, it is one of the oldest buildings and it's certainly the most iconic. A lot of movies feature the Empire State and one of the most famous is King Kong. The film ends with the famous movie monster on top of the Empire State one of the most famous scenes in cinema history. Today, the building is one of the city's most popular tourist attractions, and every day, thousands of tourists come here. They take the elevator to the top. It's easier than the 1,860 steps, and it takes less than a minute. At the top, there are two viewing platforms. One on the 86th floor and one on the 102nd floor. They have 360 degree views of the entire city. The only thing tourists don't see from here is the building itself. But that's okay. There are great views of the Empire State from all over the city.